Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have birth, rebirth with the mystery. So this is a transitional period here going on, okay? A shift in energies and something new is about to blossom, okay? Things are happening behind the scenes, okay? Fate is definitely involved here. We have renew and adventure, a return of passions and play with destiny, yeah, in divine time. So uh, whatever is happening at the current moment is meant to happen this way. But if there's been a lot of stuck energy or things just not moving, okay? I'm also seeing a lot of unfinished business. Things are about to change here. Overall energy, we have the Empress card. This is about new beginnings as well. Fresh energies as well as abundance coming to you. Things starting to flourish. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the High Priestess, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So lately you might have had a lot of pressure building or a lot put on your plate where you feel like uh, you're stretched really thin. This comes from work-related things as well as relationships here, but you have an inner knowing, okay, that Spirit's kind of trying to say here to trust. This week, uh, your intuition is very high. Your vibration is uh, lifting here where you're about to see things for what they really are and just know things are coming to you here. And uh, it's a good week to know to trust your intuition. I do see in regards to your person, you feel like uh, there's been a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety here, a lot of overanalyzing as well. Uh, what's gone on, the what ifs, what could have been. So now you're just trying to release that energy not really focus on it too much okay it's just too much uh, to handle so let's see what's going on with your person's energy we have the ten of swords the queen of pentacles and the tower so this person's hit rock bottom okay and i do see that there is an ending here but with every ending, there is a new beginning. And I see a cycle finally coming to a conclusion. What I see is unfinished business needing to be addressed, okay? Time with the tower. Page of Swords, Five of Wands. They're holding a lot of aggression and uh, really a lot of fears here in coming forward, but they're holding aggression towards themselves. They're very upset with how they've handled things here or said uh, some words. So there's something with the last thing that they've said that's really bothering them. It's almost uh, too unbearable. Six of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. They are definitely thinking about the past here, but what I see is there's a frustration uh, with these memories, okay? Knowing that they could have done things differently. Uh, it's that moment when you look back and there's a lot of pain and suffering and knowing that you could have done something differently or have been different. So let's see what's going on in the past here. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So things were pretty solid when you both got into this situation with each other. There's also a promise here that was not kept. Okay, an offer of stability, something uh, to move forward. So where this would become a serious uh, situation. So the feelings were very intense and very real here. But what I see is it was so slow moving. It seemed like nothing was happening here uh, during this connection. And there was this thought or this fear of what is going on. Were they really telling me the truth or were they just telling me what I wanted to hear? Tell me the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. Uh, they also felt like they were trapped in something here. Could have been an environment, but I see for a lot of them was their mindset, okay? There's a lot of doubts or fears that kept them stuck, stuck in the same cycle they've been in for a very long time. And they've been very unhappy as well for a long time until they got into this connection with you. You brightened up their life. You made it possible for them to feel uh, happy again or love, okay? Never thinking that they were going to feel loved in this way. So let's see what's happened in the challenge. We have the Six of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. 
Yeah, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of fantasizing and not taking action to make this real. Okay, I do see in the Six of Wands, there was an ego that was an issue here, okay? And a fear of success for some of them, where they felt like they didn't have enough to give. They didn't feel like they were as good enough for you. You really kind of took them by surprise at uh, how valuable they viewed you here. So with the Nine of Pentacles, for some, the way that they think is that they need to be able to provide for you or provide for the person they're involved with here and not feeling like they have enough financially here. So this was something that was hard to deal with. It really took a blow to their confidence, but how they reacted towards you or communicated towards you during this time was very on and off. Okay, so uh, inconsistent energy is what I'm seeing. Come on, Seven of Cups. Chariot and the Strength card. Yeah, it was hard for them to focus on a goal here, to actually achieve something, uh, to make this long term. So I see that they didn't really see a way out. They felt as if they were blocked. No option was good enough uh, for them. And it's because they held themselves to a higher standard, something that they weren't willing to reveal to you here. They definitely kept it to themselves and didn't want you to look at them in that way. They wanted to come off very confident, self-assured, but that was not what was going on underneath there's a lot of uh, emotional undercurrent that is really blocking this connection from uh, progressing so with the two of pentacles moon a lot of uncertainty six of swords how do we move forward how do i make this possible knowing that this person's going to stay with me they're going to love me for who i truly am once i reveal uh, everything about me so there are some things that they kept hidden that they feel like are flaws within themselves that they don't really want anyone to know about and there is a fear here of revealing this and letting you see who they truly are this was very difficult for you because you felt like at times they were playing some mind games here. They were just trying to kind of appease you, keep you in this connection without doing anything about it. And you knew you were smarter than this. You were like, what is going on? I know that I deserve more than this. I, you know, I can see what you're doing. Okay, but there are things that need to be addressed and uh, it's coming around full circle here. Let's see what action they take this week. And I see in the current moment, they realize that you know, the past is the past. They have to finally change. They're tired of stressing out, being without you here, living in their own thoughts that are overwhelming and ready to move forward. Three of Swords, King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. So the change that we see here is dealing with some unfinished business. And you're about to be surprised with what is being brought to you, okay? So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.